I know it has been a while since you guys seen us back on the screen, but it's about that time. Mm -hmm. And we're bringing you the heat once again, although it doesn't feel like it, like when we started off with last season, right? When it was uh, yeah. the rain. Oh my God, that was... <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, right on. It seems like it gets like the weather just does it every time we start off like the season. It just wants to play a little trick. And then towards the end, towards the middle, we're kind of dying because we're like, hey, bro, we're, we're kind of bad. We, we, can't, we need air conditioned restaurants. Air conditioned yeah. restaurants. Extreme weather conditions seems to be our, our go to when we start the season off. So here we are. At least it's not raining today. At yeah. least it's not raining. It's just cold. At least it's not raining. But joining me, of course, is uh, my co host, C minus. And special guest back by popular demand <laughs> <laughs> that's some bars from some bars from yep yeah. ready to right up <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> give us one man <laughs> especially since last season we've kind of you kind of helped us out with uh finding these gems how did you go about finding uh moderno cocina well it used to be a lot of swear than tacos back when they were pop-up they'll probably tell you that themselves but i knew it from lal works because like they were the taco vendors and I was like the barbecue and everything else there. So we kind of like, we're like the go-to guys over that brewery for a long time, you know, back in 2018 and stuff like that. Then they decided to get this spot. I think they got during the pandemic. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm sure they'll tell you, but they went over and Shout they out changed. to all the people that left. All right, when you walk in here, first of all, I'll tell you right now, man. There's parking in the front, but if you come here on like a busy day, I guarantee you, you're gonna fucking get pissed the fuck off and oh, like, trying to yeah. find parking. I'll tell you right now, because I kind of got mad that couldn't find it. But nonetheless, <laughs> <laughs> like, but no, I'll tell you right now, I'm letting you know, I don't know how short timber you are. <laughs> but it's the yeah, hey, part. just be prepared, because it's in right in the middle of like West, West Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's, like, there's, no, there's no parking. My Traffic. T8's on here. You know I, I, got, I got lucky. I got lucky. Yeah, Traffic. we all got lucky shit. Yeah. It, is, it is Tuesday, but. So, um, you know, they do have a bar in the front that's called La Bella, and they do have this, uh, we'll talk to her in a bit. She made, she's making these bomb ass cocktails. They're kind of like a mezcal bar where they have like a lot of drinks that you could just amp it up with a little bit of mezcal. All I know right. I'm enjoying that. And I know you, uh, when you left, your, yeah. yeah, I saw you with the cocktail in your hand. You wanna, yeah, you know, I, you're gonna tell us. I got a, yeah, I got a virgin, uh, I got a virgin uh, margarita. Ha jalapeno margarita. Jalapeno margarita. Wait, so I have one of those last ones Yeah, there. it's like, it's oh, a cucumber. Virgin, yeah. Cucumber, lime, and uh, it's the first time I see jalapeno. vegetables. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I'm drinking on this Mexican old fashioned. I don't know what made it Mexican, whether because the guy who made it. No, I'm just, no, oh, no, no. just playing. I was playing. It's, I'm sorry. I don't know what made it exactly Mexican, but I would say that it has to do with the mezcal. I'm gonna go read the menu. We're gonna put it in the bottom, but I'm gonna go say it's probably because of mezcal in there. But I'm gonna ask the bartender about all these drinks. So old fashioned is one of my favorite drinks. Cheers to everybody. Yeah, I feel like it's not, I feel like we gotta expand. I also did eat like fucking 30 gummies before I left. Oh, right on, dude. Yeah. Oh, I shit. 30 gummies? I ate 30 fucking 10 milligram gummies. Well, so. night night to you. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Nah, You'd be, be surprised. Yeah, like I have a hell it'll of a normal. fucking. It's a lot of sugar. Okay. <laughs> That's all you're worried about. Sugar. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I'm not like... even worried about the high, but <clears throat> I have been dabbing a lot and I love it. It's it's four months now. Oh, all right, yeah. nice. Yeah, it's it's going on four months now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's still that's still a pretty long time. I am pretty For fucking you, proud. Yes, it is. Absolutely. It used to be a, you know, as much as they play soccer at the LAFC games. So oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, that works. <laughs> It's nothing like hitting a, like a pan like when it's brand new. <coughs> oh, you just taste all the flavor. Fuck yeah. You want some? Man, this, I'm telling you, dude. If I would've brought my rig in here, but thank God I did it. <coughs> See, but you gotta have devices like this. I got a grip of these. <coughs> Dipstick, Hamilton devices, all these things. These are essential to making your high hungry experience. Once we got out of the cold, we're back in here at a Moderno Cocina Libre inside of La Perla Bar. It's all the way in the back. Once you see the taco sign, of course you see it in the intro. You see the taco sign to the right, you follow it kind of like the Al Bundy live nude sign. You know? <laughs> go, go to the back. Yeah, you just follow it with the arrow. Just go to the back. 
But, you know, after smoking and taking a few dabs, I warmed up and I've had a Mexican old fashioned, reposado tequila, angostura bitters, biloncillo simple syrup, and I had it with uh, illegal mezcal, which you guys have seen on High and Hungry before. So of course I had to add that and make it like that extra, you know, super fairy dust on there. And on top of that, what did you get the second uh, one? Oh, that's a Paloma. But, you know, I was, I was talking, mezcal. that was a drink, bro. Like, no disrespect to my lady, but that was a drink. That like when I was in college, bro, I, I would, I, you know, you didn't have that money, right? So you just had, you were making drink for bitches at home. Right. You know what I mean? So you just over here, you were, you were doing it and that was a drink that I was, I was a star at it. Nice. I was great. I was like, yo, we finna, we finna entertain the oh, house. Man. We got the dorm room packed. I got you. know you. what I mean? Like, I was like, I got you. He was like, yo man, fuck this little Smirnoff. That was, what, what was the <laughs> bus ball in my time? Smirnoff Ice? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because my coolers was a little bit like right before the time, but oh. Smirnoff Ice, 90s baby, for sure. Like that's. That was the thing, like, fuck that shit. I love you, Joe! What was it? The Spice Daisy, I think this is. Yeah, so I got it without the tequila. Uh, and it's good, man. It's, but it's a, it's a version. The, I mean, the, that's a, does that trigger? I mean, I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to fucking like, you know, make it seem like that, but me being the high ass person that I am, I'm going right. to ask these stupid questions. Or just it's me okay. being me. I know. Like, cause obviously like me, if somebody were to be like, here's a bolsita, I'm like, look, before you do that 20 times, I'm gonna start thinking about it. Yeah. Like, do you, like, do you, do, do you? No, no, not at all. Like, uh. But do you enjoy it, like genuinely for what it is? So it's just like a fancy lemonade for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be cool to like, if you guys were like, yo, let's meet over at this spot and I could get this drink. I'd get this drink while you guys are having your drink. I was shocked that they had actually somebody who offered it to you. Shout out to Curtis. Who yeah, was, yeah, Curtis. Yeah. What up, Curtis? You know what, they have a very simple menu here, like where it's straight to the point kind of like in and out, but yeah. what I mean, it is very simple in a sense where it's straight to the point, right off the top, guacamole and chicharron, I've never had that pairing. Yeah. Guacamole and chips, I've had that all the time, but this is the one that I it started shining for me, bro. The pb and P is the fried pork belly, sweet plantains with our boy aioli habanero pickled onion. Yeah. And, that's exa yeah, Ray. Exa to agree with you, Yahweh. What have you had on the menu? So, so I, I had mainly the tacos because that's back when they were doing the pop-ups. They were just doing the tacos. So yeah. like all, all the tacos I pretty much have had here that they had. That was like their what they were known for. So like everyone bought tacos off them. Then they, I think at some point they did some quesadillas or some some taquitos and some other things. But yeah, the the, the tacos are just where, where it's all. That's at. the that's the moment to shine right here. Yeah, I mean they're they're like some of the best tacos I've ever had. I mean they're all well so well put together. I like that they have taquitos and and they have a surf and turf right here. So that means there's grilled steak. Uh, over potato shrimp taquitos, pico de gallo. The fact that there's surf and turf taquitos, that's another, that's, yo, they're just baiting me in. This is the reason I'm gonna have a party here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like straight up, the first thing I asked, I was like, hey, we lift the roof up, I'm, I'm just to rent this right out. Like, mm -hmm. rent this shit out, we're gonna put an event here. <laughs> Look at that, you got costilla tacos, cochinita pibil. First of all, those two are not available at your local corner, corner taco man or taco lady, or uh, you know, taco person. Uh, they got costilla, cochinita pibil on there, which I haven't really seen too much, and I'm excited about because it's different. But are you are you are you a fan of like these weird taco like? Not I'm gonna say Pairings. it's weird, but like, you know when somebody says C minus, we got a salad chicken and lengua. Like that shit to me is like, hey fool, like I'm not a gargoyle. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. but then but but I, that's what I think. You know what I'm saying? But like, of course, but then. I, I don't say it sometimes, you know, unless it's me and dicks, but I, I kind of want to try it. I was like, yo, well, how good is that lingua? Or like, the one that the one that they don't sell me is cabeza, bro. I was like, Nah, I can't eat that. Yeah, no, no. I, uh, you don't nah. need cabeza? No, I'm good. <laughs> no head for dust. Just trim that out. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't tinga like something? It's like, would you like some tinga? Nine. Yeah. That sounds kind of sure. like it. I don't know. All right, so tinga, chipotle step, shirt. I'm not really too big on anything tinga, but you know what I'm saying? I don't I'll know. I'll try it. They're good. I'll try it. I don't know. I feel like you're a quesadilla guy. You're going to fuck with the quesadillas? Hell yeah. I'm a, yeah, that with the, maybe with the chicken uh, uh, tinga or... Yeah. And of, yeah. co of course, the only churros I'll be want to fuck with is uh, usually the ones I roll up. Yeah, if you're not, if you're not talking about now, what, what, what are you guys doing? Let me show you what you should be doing. How'd you, how'd you get, yeah, there you go. <laughs> get your dab pen going. Yeah. On my way to high town. That's what you should be doing at home. That's what you should be doing. That's how you do it. 
Get you, exactly. get you a dipstick. <laughs> see, mine is already drunk. <laughs> yeah, see, mine is just sober drunk. What if it has a placebo effect and you start acting like belligerently? Like, you, no. you just start thinking you're drunk. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be hilarious. And then you Bart race camera. Yeah, just throw it against the wall and just say, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Dustin, cheers. This is the Spice Daisy. So far, I have yeah. three cocktails in. Yeah. And it's uh, Blanco Tequila, Naranja Licor, Lime le- lime Fresh Press Jalapenos, Cucumber, and Cilantro, plus the $2 Mezcal Spice Daisy, you know, to up it up. This is like the, the Pepino Lemonade, but for adults. You know what I mean? If you ever had... If, like if you ever had the, uh, if you ever had that like pepino lemonade where they put a little chia seeds and the lady selling it with like her daughter or something, like, you know what I mean? And like, I, yeah, bro. If you go to, if you, trust me, every swami will have like a lady that will be selling these things. All right. <coughs> Sometimes it's a dude, but nine times out of ten it's a lady. Yours is a little bit green. Yours is like super whole, but oh. you got the pepino on top. It's great. They got the right amount of ice. There's just, I, you know, sometimes I'm not gonna lie. To having so much, so many drinks wherever I go. If I get a drink like this, sometimes I'm not satisfied, bro. Like honestly, I've noticed I'm not satisfied. Where I'm like, I feel like they don't hit. But every size? no, just because like they're, it's not crafted enough for it to be the right amount of hit, um, right amount of taste. Napkins, oh my god. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Yes. Look at that. By the way, Denise, she's gonna be inter- she's gonna be interviewed in a bit. But Denise is the one right here. She. Letting, she is putting it down for everybody here and let us know what is good. <laughs> All right, so y'all, we got some of the plates already in the beginning. This is the shareables, at least for the me and parts and break and enjoy the taquitos, surf and turf. Look at the beautiful presentation. Now, a little little fun fact that you guys are wondering is why the hell are the fucking plastic, why is there plastic on the plates? She said, la cabrona. <laughs> uh, but, she said that it's tradition because it's considered, a lot of this is considered street food. In Mexico, they kind of serve uh, serve it with the plastic on it so they can kind of reuse the plate over and over again. You know what I mean? And kind of like conserve it. I mean, they do have plates here and everything's yeah. like for sure. It's, you know, I mean, they rewash it, but it's kind of like keeping it authentic. Kind of like how the experience you would get in Mexico. So they got surf and turf tacos with the uh, beef and shrimp. We got pea platanos and Pork belly, and we got the Brussels sprouts with the limon. Mm-hmm. See, Manis, I got yeah. I got to do the money shot, bro. Yeah, 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 do it. What were we gonna say about that? There's pomegranate seeds on. Yeah, it. I was gonna say that's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Deep fried Brussels sprouts with pomegranate. If she makes it rain like this on your face, put a ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see what's good. Yeah, let's see what this is. Brussels sprouts, cheers, y'all. Hold on, damn parts. <laughs> 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 That's good. That tastes like Estite went around and fucked the Brussels sprouts. And then we had Brussels sprout Estite. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we're eating the product of that, which is the offspring. <laughs> yep. That's really good, man. Yeah. That's what I would call Brussels sprout Esquite. But right here, that's the Brussels sprouts right here. But honestly, this is like if the corn from the street got swooped up like Pretty Woman by the fucking handsome fucking gentleman. So far, it started out with bank for me because yeah. it's the pomegranate. When they pop, the sweetness Man, is the so sweet, fire. The sweet and savory that comes. Great, let me feed you one. No? <laughs> hey, let me feed you one. Now turn the camera off. It's though. <laughs> <laughs> Now we are gonna head on to the platanos and the pork belly. This is how you do it though. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's how you get everything. Drip it on it, dude. It's, this is how you get everything on that one bite. Cause you have to look at that. You get the sauce, pink onions, platano as a strong base at the bottom, and then you get the nice, beautiful pork belly, gentlemen. Bart's is doing it right. Look at that. Bart's. Is, oh damn, Chris is like, I'm sorry. Fuck y'all. I ain't waiting. <laughs> But me and Bart's, because we got the full bite. Cheers. Go, cheers. I can't put them in my mouth. Mm. This is why you got to interview the chef. Yo, I'm going to do Brussels sprout with the rest of this right now. The man had to be high. <laughs> I mean, OK. I love the Cuban way of mixing it up. But this right here, the combination of the pickle with the sweetness of the platano. 
with the crunchiness of the pork belly. And I'm not really too big on pork belly because I don't like the squishy texture of it. But this motherfucker was so crunchy that I'm gonna have to do it like couscous and do it twice, you know what I'm saying? But this is literally the one you wanna start off with if you're gonna come in here with at least three, four people. Good minimum, for sure. I mean, but you gotta put everything on there. You gotta do it high hungry style. Or just do a bunch of dabs and uh, Well, we'll keep doing three, dabs. 300 milligrams of edibles in here. Right. Mm. C-minus is ready. Mm. It looks amazing, that right? Looks <laughs> Whoa, that this looks, is the chicken finger. That looks all fancy. Yeah. It looks amazing, that right? That looks OG as fuck. <laughs> Whoa, that this looks, is the chicken finger. That looks authentic. Yeah. Oh hey, that. Down on corn, I mean, with corn. Hey, that the dish right here, it was like the Cuban person swam to Mexico and not Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But I'll be here all fucking weekend, y'all. Hey, you guys want to split one of these? It's a chicken dinga quesadilla. Oh my gosh, oh, she still has more. Whoa, what's that? Costilla. It's our great corn rib, arbol aioli, pineapple, and green onion. piece of a plant. Okay, well, yeah. while, while Chris, cause, cause I'm good on the quesadilla, but while Chris enjoys that quesadilla, I will be digging into one of the surf and turf taquitos, uh, yeah. which I hope Bart joins me with. Look at that, you got a salad on top. This is how you gotta do it, look at that. It's kind of like, it's the look people, it's like when you put the condom on all the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it has to lay, it has to be layered all the oh, way to, the, to the base, bro. To the base. All right. <laughs> like, but well, I don't even eat seafood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this. I right love here. this, bro. There you go. Let's do it. Um, other styles don't have the potato. The potato is explosion. The potato explosion. You swear Irish person is in there. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Honestly, a taquito de papa layered on with the asada on there, and you gotta have a stick on there. That's what the crema and the guacamole is for. You yeah. dip it on with the little salsa on there, or it looks, it kinda looks like a little sriracha slash ketchup. That's a firme ass taco right there, bro. A firme ass taquito, it it, that shit doesn't fall apart, bro. No, it doesn't. Proper Down price. to the last bite. Did you see it crumble? Like those bitch ass girls out cookies? No, you didn't. You know why? Cause it's a fucking feed me ass taquito, bro. All the way, even the fucking piece of carne right there hanging on for dear life, didn't fall off. I can't front everything I've eaten so far is. Uh, is there anything else aside in there from just queso and like what's in there? <laughs> that tortilla looks like a colcha, bro. Yeah, it's got like, it's got uh, avocado. It's got some of the green, um, like the green onions. The, and yeah. the, you're micro greens. Micro greens. There's micro greens. Are you eating onions? Are we hearing right now? Is Chris eating onions? No, oh, they're, they're micro, micro greens. They're micro greens. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all of a sudden, yeah. micro, yeah. micro. No, it's like this. Like, it's like, like this. Yeah, it's those like, are micro greens. Yeah. Yeah, just like little lettuce. Oh, okay. So, greens. yeah, it's really good. <laughs> this next beauty right here mm. is Costilla. Baby micro, what is it, micro green? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Micro green onions. Piña. Yeah. Pina right here. This is the equivalent of the of the permission slip of her letting you raw dog it. You gotta eat enough pineapples. And and the firm fucking tortilla right here. Bro, this is like this is a heavy ass tortilla right here. Oh, they're, they're, they're... Dustin and I will be trying this. Cheers. Cheers. I don't even wanna. Yeah, you do. Pineapple might not belong on pizza. It does. But it belongs on tacos. I don't know, what, what do you have for us next? Oh my God. Bart's got the super onion -y. I got the dabs ready to go. And they're gonna go ahead and do it while, while I take a dab. So, cheers guys, I hope you enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Cinnamon taste. You're missing out the onions. Cinnamon? No, no. That's what makes it. Okay, so without <laughs> without onions, what does that taste like? You said cinnamon. There's a cinnamon taste in the, in the, in the pork bag. Like the picante one. or like what? No, not spicy. I just taste like this tingle? Like, yeah, it's mm. just really good, it's different. It's really good. Well, I think it makes it that you have like, you have to have the onions, because that will cut through the fat. But with the uh, with the onions and you eat it as a, as a whole, 
That's the whole point of the onion. Yeah, like that's a quality like, tortilla too, yeah. bro. Because like, look at how Martha's yeah. been squeezed yeah. the shit out of that. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll it has that. not fallen apart. It's fallen apart. I'll that. say the quality of, of of the meat and the tortilla itself is mm. perfect together. Yeah. And yeah. we're gonna have tinga, which you already have the quesadilla. Yeah. Tacos. And tinga is what shredded pork? Mm -hmm. No, this is a uh, chicken. You got the avocado on top. Yep. Micro greens. Look at that. What do you mean? I don't. That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'll take a fucking bite. That's what the fuck I mean. Yeah, that, that, yeah. that, that definitely deserves that. <laughs> it's kind of like jerk chicken. Like it's kind of like uh, like a little bit of more like it's jerk chicken with a little bit more sauce, plus the guacamole and the lime. It's a I, the lime does. I want to say there's lime in there, but I could be wrong. But. It's definitely a saucy ass chicken. Yeah. We have asada next. I don't know who's gonna try asada. After all, you and Dustin. Oh, that's right. Oh my God. Look at this, one after another. I've never seen, this is, remember in the scene in Goodfellas where it was like, Paul, they used to slice the onion <laughs> very thin. And then the used to stink up no, the, like, the garlic. Yeah, the garlic, the garlic yeah. yeah. This is how thinly, <laughs> This day is 30 fucking milligrams. I mean, 30, 30 fucking edibles. 300 milligrams. This is how thinly, thin the fucking radish is, bro. Like you could see through the Rabano vision. And I ain't gonna lie, there ain't nowhere you're gonna be getting nearly this much meat on a salad taco. You got all oh, the, uh, I guess the cilantro and the onion in there. And this is what I imagine the same sriracha kind of sauce they had earlier. Look at that drip. I just like, I only put splashes, bro. Just a little quick splash. That's it, just a little quick splash. Dustin, it's your turn, you're up. Handle your scandal, Doc. Look at that little, make it rain. This is how LA rain is. Relapse. Relapse. I don't know, it's been a lot more than that. Cheers. Cheers. That's a delicious taco. Look, bro, I will, I'm always one that I always want like a chopped up steak in my asada taco if I'm gonna go to a fancy place. But when I'm talking about like what I tasted here, that meat is seasoned. That meat is fucking marinated. There's love and shit being put into that meat. There's a perfect amount of chopped and mixed cilantro and lime in there, plus the salsa and the lemon, and it, it with the, all the way down to the lemon being just as juicy. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just complements everything on Because sometimes you go to a taco spot and then the one thing that is missing is the lime. And because that bitch has lime is drying, you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gonna get a saucy taco. So this is probably one of the best asada tacos out there. We got Baja, fish taco, and we got a pastor. Yeah. We got the al pastor right here. Where it's got the, the mini greens and it's got might I say that this avocado and this and this red salsa are delicious and it, it it's perfectly with everything I've eaten so far and especially if you do the lime on top of the tacos it's like nonstop. Uh, then we got the fish taco right here, which has got the jalapenos uh, with the red cabbage and the microgreens along with the... Like an like a avocado like, like a, crema yeah. or something on like top avo of. Yeah, avocado crema. I'm ready, got the microgreens on lock right now. All right, look at that. Yeah. That looks like a righteous taco. What do you think, right? It's ready to go. One nice is the tortillas don't fall apart here. Even after I'm Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. The tortillas are good. All right, cheers. Cheers. Talk of cheers. Mm. The pineapple in the, in the al pastor. Man. That's just pretty good. It's seasoned, it's seasoned really well. Seasoned really well. And, I mean, you know, the whole, the whole little package here together is just like amazing. And the tortilla still doesn't fall apart even after my big old uh, Real of barbecue, yeah. barbecue, barbecue hands have uh, manhandled this thing. He held it for like four hours. It's like, it's like, a, it's like a taco made for Bart. He's got the fucking uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger store <laughs> steroids hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Ongo taco, AKA the mushroom taco. And it has, it's like Spider-Man fucking put a whole web of cheese on the tortilla before Pretty we fucking got it. But then masked it with the mini greens too. Yeah. It's so, uh, grilled cheese. Why do you keep calling them mini greens, bro? Cause that's the thing, that's the thing are. Micro greens. So cheers. It's time to eat. Taco. Hit it up. Eat <laughs> <Vegetarian> taco. <laughs> 
I gotta give it up to Ray for telling me that I was gonna enjoy this. I love all the tacos in that list. You know, doing this for so long, you you kind of always wonder you're like this is something that you least like everybody you know so if I had to rank the tacos this was probably gonna be the one that was gonna be the last one just because I'm not a vegetarian number one and number two this is not the kind of mushrooms I usually like but the seeds like these right here these little <laughs> these little seeds right here this trail mix on top of the mushrooms and for all you motherfuckers that your pussy hurts when you eat meat come eat this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> One of the, the only dessert here, which is the churro filled with cajeta. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. C, Cheers. C minus already finished. C minus already. No, I just like, started. Oh. oh, wow. Cajeta. Uh, this was down the street from my house. Bro. Man, it's like a churro out of This is the sponginess out of there. All right. Mm. You see this? Look at this. It's cream. They put cream in it. It's cajeta, Barge. <laughs> What's cajeta? It's, 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 it's like Mexican diabetic plus oh. peanut butter. All right, yeah. I'll tell you right now, this churro is one of the best churros I've had. Way better than Disneyland. I love Walt. But this yeah. is hella fire, and they put a, a hearty amount of cajeta in it. It's in there. You gotta talk to the people behind this. All right, y'all. So we're here in the active kitchen here. For all the people that uh, it's not, it's not are, are not familiar. I'm here with Chef Pablo Vega, and he is the one who brought all the food to you guys and made it possible. Uh, so, you know, obviously with the help, you know, what I mean, of everybody else here. But you know, he made it all possible. Uh, what would you say? You know. Com, com, you made the whole menu? So, yeah, me and my business partner, Denise, I mean, we built the whole, the whole menu. Denise is the one, I'll tell you right now. Yeah, she's yeah. the boss, actually. <laughs> so, la Cobrona? Yeah, she's La Cobrona, <laughs> yeah, I like a cobra dinero. Uh, no, cuando empezamos, like, when we started, uh, we made only like five tacos at the beginning. Classic ones, asada, pastor, but we wanted to give it like a little twist to the menu. So we added the costilla tacos, the mushroom tacos, the tinga, the tinga. Look, man, tinga. I, I, hey, bro, like one time I, I, I tried being vegetarian because I wanted to date this girl. I really just wanted to sleep with her. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and then I, I, went, I went on like three months worth of date and I was eating all this kind of vegetarian food. All that shit was nasty, bro. I wish <laughs> there was somebody here. That, that like that I would I could have tried which the mushroom because that's the perfect alternative for somebody who lives that lifestyle. You know what yeah. I mean? But I mean even for me that I'm a carnivore like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You know what I mean? Like I I I, I, I still enjoy the flavors in it, bro. It's a tasty taco, honestly. The, the cilantro pesto is so and how did you, how did you make that happen? Because obviously you're not vegan or you know. No, I'm not vegan. I'm not even vegetarian. So como le hiciste like. So, you dated her vegan too. Like you say, it's a vegetarian food. La gente piensa que es like, no, no tiene flavor, exactly. No, yeah. So when we made this taco, I told my partner like, tenemos que ofrecer algo con, sabor. con mucho sabor, ¿me entiendes? The trail mix, uh, seeds, uh, I, 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 honestly, I've never, when I go hiking, I eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I it's true. Mixed with <laughs> no, but peanuts and almonds. Yeah, but, and <laughs> but it tastes good, bro. Like it's it like works. a nice crunch. Yeah, taco. yeah. And that's what you need because yeah. I'm not saying that the carne is so is crunchy like hot Cheetos or something like that, but the carne is still the, it works your jaw, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. And mushrooms yeah. a lot softer, so it's different. So you need the crunch for your mind to think that Definitely. that's a good taco. Definitely. Like, you know, like to the taco experience, it's obviously a good taco, but I'm saying it's like the crunch is like, it tricks your mind to let you know it's like, hey, it's, it's the real deal. Sí. La verdad is, it's very popular, that taco. Even like right here, say, especially around here. Huh? Yeah. And like you say, like, you know, vegetarian, 
Pero la gente lo ordena just for the flavor, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's so flavorful. The cilantro pesto is an... Are, I, it's a classic uh, recipe, just like a regular pesto, just instead of Italian, we use Mexican ingredients. Is that recetas, where do they come from? Like, is that like, like, where are you from? Like, what makes I'm like, from north of Mexico. Okay, like, where? North. North? Okay. Yeah, I'm really yeah. close, like, what? Texas. Is there a Stalo or? Uh, the state is Coahuila, the city is Torreón. Torreón, Coahuila. So, Shout I'm out to close them. to Chihuahua, okay. Nuevo León, Monterrey. Okay. Usually people from my town go to Texas. Okay, you know? yeah. Yo me vine a Los Angeles. Tex Max, puro Tex Max. Exactly. Yeah. Do you like Tex Max? Uh, is. <laughs> like, I, I, like I know, I'm like, oh yeah. shit. Is that the best or not? No, Tex Max food is good. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I, I would love it. I, I would love to have a cheeseburger taco. It's awesome, but yeah. I don't know how. I, it's, it's a disrespect to the tradition. Lo único es que la gente piensa que Tex Max is Mexican Mexican food. Entiendes? Como Taco Bell. <laughs> Exacto. Y normalmente, I mean, Mexican food is, is more than yeah. than Tex Mex. You know. I was telling everybody here. If you've been to Mexico and you've been back and you've experienced everything, and like I'm talking about, like. You know what's how we resort? It's una máquina. Yeah, it's... La señora es una máquina. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. no, pero... Sí, es, es todo hecho a la orden. Vas poniendo los tickets, allá vas sacando las tortillas. So you can see the first did, did, did you have experience uh, before, or are you the first one in your family? In my family, I am the first one. Yeah. But I came to LA like 10 years ago. I started... Apple uh, Sinat? Yeah, I came to... My, well, my first job was at a Peruvian Japanese restaurant, so that's my school, honestly. Do you know how to make Peruvian signature? Like ornaments? I do. Like, como saltado. Uh, he, he became alumni right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, Peruvian food is so good, man. It's like Mexican, honestly. Yeah. So when I had that experience, I was like, I think I learned a lot about the flavors, mixing, everything. So. Por eso se me facilitó más un poco hacer el menú de nosotros, because of that job. You know? Would you say this is the most, sería el más uh, exitoso venture on your life, like, like for your restaurant, like would it be, is, is this the most successful venture? For now, yes. Yeah, I mean, for this we were doing just pop-ups on the streets, breweries. Felicitaciones, congratulations, oh, muchas gracias, You're Chef Pablo Vega. All right, y'all, so. She's been serving the food up the whole time. She's been in the back cooking. She's known here as La Cobrona. You know what I mean? But she, I, I said, I said she is the boss here. She's the one. Now I'm here with the one and only Denise here. And uh, thank you so much for having us here, number one. Wow. Thank you guys for coming. Those, you know, those, you guys have received this con tanta amabilidad, like just so much love. Like you made me feel like I'm visiting somewhere at home where I'm not really from, you know? <laughs> like, like, I'm just like, damn, man, que, con que tanto amor los han recibido aquí, you know? Thanks. From the bar, from the food, you can taste the love that you guys received this year with. And I mean, I, I, I met the chef and he said, you're his business partner in this. So how, how did that come about for you? Como, como se dice? Uh, long story, he lost his job at Pica. Mm -hmm. They were closing their doors and I was like, dude, you cook amazing. Like you need to do something with your talents. And um, I went to a bar in Downey and they were having tacos in the back and I'm like, you can do this, just do what they're doing. And he did, he started selling and little did I know I was gonna be involved. I was in a whole different career before and I'm now in a kitchen, I never would have expected it. Were you working in, uh, food, in the food industry before? No, no, not at all. What were you doing before? In the garment industry. Like, like clothing? Yeah. Is it what, like uh, screen printing or what? No, we would um, sell so to like Nordstrom, to Macy's. So I would do all the trade shows, drive around, I was a sales rep. Yeah, damn. So that's... I went from fashion world to being all sucia that's... and selling like food all day. I mean, you know, <laughs> sucia, you know, and I, was like, I, was like, I was like, you look very amable and nice, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But okay, so like, but that's, you know, being from the trade show world, like, or at least having to experience some of the trade show world, like, I noticed that that'll make you get a little, it'll make you get out of your, your comfort zone, whether you, you know, whether you're in it or not, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Or whether you're, like, comfortable with it, like, you're going to have to kind of be into it. And for you going to the food service industry, like, from that, from that point, you know what I mean? It's definitely a big I mean, big it was jump. adjustable because of the customer service, which I always loved, and, you know, from 
where I was before, and now it's like still customer service. You always want to give the best customer service you can because you know you come for the experience. You do, you, come, do you love this one? I do. Yeah. What do you love about it the most? I love when someone bites into a taco and it's like the happiness. Yeah. Time. The it's face almost, expression it's you like see from them. Love, huh? It's like you see people just like like oh man, like they fell in love with our food. And that <laughs> that's the most that makes our day seriously. Like that makes us keep going. Like I've had people who come up and they're like, oh my god, this reminded me of my abuela and that bite and this or that or like. I I, I, I said it from the beginning that the down from the from the very uh, what is it base of the food you guys make here from like that even the tacos like. Like or, or mainly the tacos, the tortilla is where it all begins with, and that is the strongest tortilla. And you know, I mean, it, you could tell that like the person making it, they love what they're doing. They're not, they're just not. If they're bitching about something in their life, it's not about anything concerning them in here because you would be able to taste it. And a lot of people would be like, that's not necessarily true. That you can't taste it when somebody doesn't love what they're doing. But believe me, go to a fucking dive bar and order your favorite fucking junk food in there. And see how different it tastes as compared to your favorite restaurant. Where you go to your favorite restaurant, you're going to know why it tastes different. Because the person in the back loves what they do. So like I said, like go to a random taco place that you don't know as compared to your favorite one. And see what the difference is. That lack of love will make, a, will make up for it, you know. Now he was telling me, you, like... He kind of he does see it expand. Do you, do you want to eventually have a new spot? Yes, it's yeah. a lot of work. But it's yeah. a lot of work. I imagine like you know, like you don't like you don't look okay. Like I imagine you get stressed, but you don't look like you're like you're just like hey, it's just like you're kind of running this like Chef Record and Ramsey. Like it's like it's, I mean, it's fun. It's so much fun, but it does get tiring. It's an all day thing. I wake up sometimes really early, go to the market, buy all the produce, come in, drop it off. Go back home, you know, have lunch, and then come back and work the whole night. Do you come up with the menu? Uh, if I'm high, yes. I'm the one who's like, oh man, imagine this with bacon, or imagine if you do this with this. I would imagine that's where the platanos and the pork belly came from. Huh? I don't know how that came about, but it <laughs> came about. And then he's the one who, like, technically is like, that wouldn't work, but if I do this and this, this can go better. And so I give him all the crazy bullshit ideas, and then he puts it all what together like the smoking? right way. <laughs> are you do you, do you dab? No. 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 Too Edibles much? are Edible? my thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, you have like the edible vibe. I took. You know, it's crazy. The whole time I've been here, I've took uh, 30 uh, 10 milligram uh, gummies. So I ate 30 of them before I came what here. The? Yeah. <laughs> so I've been, I've been on a How extreme. Do this. I, you, this is the end of it. I don't. I feel like it's time to wear off. But I do want to. I do want to thank you for having us out here. And when you guys come out here, definitely come say hi to the one. You know what I'm saying? This is the but this is La Cobrona, the big boss right here. <laughs> now they, you're gonna have people coming in and asking me or saying. Hey, their but name. you're gonna know it's gonna be us. Or it's gonna be our people. <laughs> it's true. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you make guys sure, for coming out. Make sure you guys come out here. All right, y'all. The time has come to head on out. We are here in front of La Perla Mezcaleria which they have the best mezcal bar or one of the best mezcal bars I have seen out here in Southern Cali. Thank you, Dustin, for coming out here and setting this up for us. I'm glad it worked out. Dustin, where can they follow you at? Oh, Bart's Barbecue on Instagram. So Bart's period barbecue or the period brisket period king. The brisket king. C-minus? <laughs> uh, follow me on all social medias at C-minus-fan4 and go to djc-minus.com. Make sure you, when you guys come over here, like I said, get your parking at a good spot. Come early. Get a, they have a hella signature cocktails. Follow High and Hungry TV on Instagram. Uh, the website is highandhungry.shop for all the new merch. Take advantage of it. Uh, thank you so much to all the staff that made it happen. Chef Pablo Vega. Uh, what is it? Uh, Denise. Denise. Yeah, shout out to Denise. She's the big boss over here. Making it happen. Treated us with nothing but the great hospitality here. And you guys can come experience that too. Either whether you're a raging alcoholic like myself or somebody who wants just regular drinks like Chris. We <clears throat> got something for everybody. And the best part is the tacos. I'm telling you, those tortillas ain't gonna take no shit. And neither should you. So make your way over here. <laughs> High and hungry. We're starting it off with a fucking banger. <clears throat> make sure you guys come down here. <laughs>